All right, how are we doing, guys? Hey, Lubenix, it's good to see you, man. Been a while, mainly because I've not been streaming. I appreciate the tags you've already put up. Crashes, houses owned, and burps. Not sure where the burps come in, but the other two are hilarious. Unfortunately, no, I do not own a house yet. Not the yet, hopefully, by this time next year. Maybe? If we're lucky. We'll, we'll find out in the end. We will find out. So... <laughs> I'm hoping I move out on Saturday. I've got a six month lease at that two bed apartment. And hopefully after that. Yeah, but no promises. I, I'm not going to get my hopes too high just yet. Oh man. As for crashes, we will have to find out. So it, my PC was stress testing, but then. Well, we'll leave that for now. Uh, while you left house hotel or whatever, someone filled the hole you left. Ooh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. What's the name of this streamer? I'll have to check him out at some point. It's absolutely, honestly, the more streamers we get for this community, the better, because the more ways we've got, like, for new people to come join in. Holy crap! He's a popular streamer. Damn, who is this dude? Uh, we'll continue from last time. We'll just carry on with, uh, uh like, after it's been too long, I'm still getting back into it. We'll just get to carry on with the base campaign. Oh, 30 birds? Oh my, okay, that's, um, if anything, that's just as impressive. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Dan FTF, that name somewhat rings a bell. Huh. I'm, I wonder, I wonder if I've seen him stream before. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, well, I wonder if we, uh, uh depending on uh, when the, if the multiplayer gets done, like, I wonder if we can do like a stream of uh, the multiplayer, so you get different per uh, perspectives. That would be absolutely brilliant. That would be so much fun. Oh, is Sim stop working on it. Ah, fair enough. To be fair, it's a big task. Seems to have left it. Ah, shame, but it like networking multiplayer. It's a big task to have to do. Do we know what state it's in? I wish I had more time, otherwise I'd try and pick it up. Like, I'd have to learn C, but I'd do it if I had the time. Oh, man. I wonder if we should outsource. Maybe, like, raise money as a community to just, like, pay someone to do it. Like, to be fair, it'd be a bit of a waste. Like, there's a lot of devs in the community. Between us, we could probably find time to do it, but still. Uh, it seems like a long way done, but not functional in uh, at all in current form. Oh, I mean, to be fair, if a lot of the work's done, slowly getting there, it is slowly getting there, which is what we need, it's what we want to see. We'll see, I'll see if I can pick up some time at some point, it's not going to happen for the next few months, and like, like I said, I'd have to learn base C, but I'll consider it, it'll be a fun little side project if I do. If not, I'm, to be fair, I think there's, we've got a lot of developers in the uh, KeyPerfect community, haven't we? <clears throat> uh, yeah, but you can, um, if you go on um, some websites, you can get devs pretty cheap. Um, but you do. there is also the point of you get what you pay for, so it would probably be better if we just did it ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, 40 to 80 hours of work, so you still look at a few weeks full time at best. I, 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 yeah. To be fair, yeah, you probably, for a new dev to start working on, you probably look at um, six to eight hours just going through the code just to learn what the code's doing, how it works, what goes where, and get familiar with it, so. Do I have more? I am not paying attention to again. What am I doing? Um, we'll have the training room here. We will have Lair up here. Oh man, I am so rusty at this game. So, so rusty. Is that a beat? Oh, no, we'll take a demon spawn. Okay, we'll get a library. We'll get the library. Uh, where are we go put a hatchery? We'll put a hatchery here. There, that'll do. It will make it slightly bigger, actually. Um, 
and not that many devs are active on FX, Adam and I are real novices in a lot of ways. Eddie's going through spells and putting many hours in each day and then weeks or months of nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a community project, so people put in time when they can. And if they don't want to anymore, well, they're under no obligation. So I'm, at the, I'm never going to complain at the work that you guys put in because you're effectively doing it for free because you want to. So anyone who complains about it is frankly being a bit of a dick. So, it, it, it's a shame that it's been dropped for now, but hey, it may get picked up at some point, so we'll just have to see. There's time. There's time. Okay, I'll expand that. How many imps have I got? I'm not paying attention at all. Oh, that beetle can get lost. No, you can go the hell away. Uh, Trash 3R has done a few hours in total. Seems uh, like highly skilled, but not committed, and he never said he would either, by the way. Yeah, that's fair enough. Like I've just said, it is community um, work at the end of the day. You, you're not being paid to do it. You're doing it in your own time because you want to, so... Uh, that leaves Sim, who is quite active still, but he likes to pick up big stuff and then pick up big... and then pick up new big stuff a lot of the time. <laughs> so he likes to, like, start something new... And then he gets bored and starts something else. Which I am not critiquing the dude at all. Because a lot of developers are like that. Myself included. Um, a lot of the guys I do game jams with. He, he's he got hundreds of projects that he's started. And <laughs> he's just never finished. It, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's just a developer thing. It is just a developer thing. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, that's it. You're doing the work for free. You're not getting paid for it. So no one can complain in any way, shape or form. I don't have a hatchery yet. I should make sure I have a hatchery. I mean, at the end of the day, every little helps. And um, using GitHub, are you? So even if some, even if one of you commits uh, enough code, enough code, you can just uh, backdate it or you can uh, not merge it. Stuff like that. Uh, but it's not like we have six or seven competent and active devs, which would be good if you want to pick up real big projects. Yeah, like, it's amazing just how much um, six or seven devs can do um, in a short amount of time. But at the same time, it's also amazing just how long, like, projects can take. Um, yeah, like, it always amuses me when you talk to non-developers. And when I say non-developers, I don't mean people who don't work full-time, just people who have never coded before. Um, because they like they don't necessarily understand how they'll look at one thing and they'll think, oh, that's massive. How did you get that done so quickly? It's like, actually, there's a lot of ways to, there's libraries in that to get it done quite quickly. And then there's other things where they'll message you and say, oh, yeah, you, so you can throw this together first in like an afternoon, can't you? And in reality, it'll take a full team, like a month to do what they're asking for. Hey, one man conga, how you doing, man? Six months ago, I was halfway through developer a game. Today, I'm halfway through. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's I can totally feel that. Like, I have I've got a number of um, projects and a few games like that. Like, the problem being is I feel like this definitely stands true for game developers. Um, you get you you get an idea and you start working. You think, oh, this is a really cool idea, and then it's not that so much do you get bored of that idea. You get, like, as you learn from that idea, it kind of gives you new ideas for a new game. And then you're like, oh, but okay, let's, let's just kind of start doing that one, because that sounds kind of fun. And then you, you, you start on that one, and then you learn stuff from that, and then you get another new idea, and <laughs> it just never stops. Um, it, it <laughs> um, it's one of the reasons why I really enjoy doing game jams, to be fair. Um, because we have a set time limit and then we just stop making the game. Um, we, we still make all the games we want and stuff like that. Um, and it's a fun challenge, but we don't have to worry about continued development. Having said that, there have been a number of games where we've said, or even when I've done some solo ones, that I've said, yeah, I'm totally going to carry this on. There's so much the potential here. And it just never happened. <laughs> it never happened. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I've worked, uh, oh yeah, 
I think you've said, didn't you work in the management aspects, Lou Phoenix? They all like to start new stuff more than finishing up old stuff, yeah. I often work on multiple things at once. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like the thing, so like, so obviously I work in um, software development. I try to only tackle a single task at a time. Um, there are occasions when that's not always possible, but generally I try and tackle one task at a time, or even break a task down to subtasks to tackle them one at a time. You know what? We're not even going to bother with Spider. We're not even going to bother with Spider. We'll, we'll go Warlocks and uh, Demon Spawn because we can. You fairies about to get your asses. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. There we go. Your minions are winning a battle. Getting more of them. There we go. Um, but yeah, sometimes you do have to work on multiple things at a time. But so the others I know will work on multiple things at once. I think it's just different ways of developing. Uh, but when I was leading a dev team, it helped a lot that you like Pip. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Um, I can't talk about the projects I work on, but there have been a number of occasions where I have sat there and thought, I don't want to have to do this, but I am paid to do this, so I don't have a choice. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's really important making sure you keep on top of the hurdles. Yeah, because um, uh, generally when you're developing, um, for those of you who um, have never worked... Oh, that's not the pot. There we go. Um, for those of you who have never worked in software development or don't know much about it, um, generally you'll break um, tasks uh, of development thing down into loads of little tasks, and the uh, developer will pick up a task, normally in the form of a ticket, and uh, they'll tackle um, that uh, task or ticket, so to speak. Um, and you'll normally have an estimated time frame for it, but the problem being is that estimated times aren't always that accurate because you'll sometimes have uh, occasions where you'll think oh that'll be really quick and easy that won't take long and they'll absolutely take forever and then you'll look get other tasks where it's like oh this is going to take multiple developers like a month and they'll absolutely take two like a week it, it happens sometimes a new room has been researched. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, my secret is getting coffee yes honestly stuff like that um we have we can get we have three tea at work and honestly that alone certainly for me makes so much difference um again like where you get stuck at a problem and just that five minutes to go make a cup of tea and come back and then be able to drink as you go along um quite often for developers just little things like that honestly lou base but it sounds like i would have loved working under you um my um team leader is great as well um it's little things like that that just help get them through these blocks that it can be a real issue sometimes. That way, even though I was busy, I would come at the desk of each developer a few days at least, hear them moan or something. <laughs> yeah, developers like to moan. We, we always have something to moan about. They're, they're, rare is the occasion that we don't. So... <laughs> Uh, I, I would look, trying to think of an example I can give here that I can actually give. Um, none come to mind, unfortunately. Uh, this map looks familiar. Yeah, it's um, level 6, what's the name of it? Snuggle Dale. I'm just I'm playing the OG campaign for now. Um, I've just, I'm trying to get back into Dungeon Keeper and streaming after not doing it for a month and frankly having a shit month. Um... <laughs> I'm just taking it easy, easing back into it. Uh, but there, but there. I meant not the coffee, but listening. Yeah, that is very true. Uh, just letting developers, also letting developers talk about what they're doing. That can make a massive difference as well. Um, because sometimes when you talk a problem through with people, um, it, it kind of gets the cogs going in your head. And um, just talking through people through a bug or through a task kind of helps, gives you an idea, or can just make something click in your head on how to tackle your current issue. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. There we go. Hey, Furtim, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, did we get? A oh, we've got flies and bloody beetles. No, you guys can go away. Uh, but da. -ba. Yeah, as, as you say, Louis, it's listening to a problem, because just getting the developer talking about what they're doing, 
Um, no, I'm not doing New Game Plus. Like I said, part of the reason I'm doing the original campaign is also because I've said, I keep saying I'm going to do another speed run at some point. So this is giving me a opportunity to re-familiarise myself because it's been a while since I played the OG campaign as well. Um, so this will just let me get back into it, learn some of the things that I've potentially forgotten, and then we'll be ready for the next speed run. Uh, well, often when a developer is taking forever and someone did a time of five minutes, it could also be the developer is missing something or take a different approach is needed. Yeah, um, that can be the case. I know um, there have been a few occasions at work where my inexperience has really showed. I save game. We will do that. Game saved. Yeah, so there's been a few occasions where my exper my inexperience at work has really shown. Like, don't get me wrong, I've been programming for a while, I'm fairly good at it, but I'm nowhere near on the level of some of the others who have been in the software development industry for 10, 15 plus years. Um, they, they've got far more experience and far better at what we do. Um, naturally, having that extra experience. And um, sometimes... Um, for some of the issues, I might be taking a while trying to solve it, and one of them will just go, oh, just do this. And I'll just sit there and go, oh, oh yeah. Why the fuck did I not think of that? <laughs> also, just because I've just said pop up in the chat, um, there is a poll. Uh, the link will come up every 15 minutes or so. And the poll is for um, when we're doing the what is the warlock d d character stream. So I've mentioned it before, we're going to be doing a stream where we make, our, basically Warriors is our uh, mascot at this point. We're going to make Warriors the Warlock as a D&D character. Um, we'll, I'll probably make him to like level 5, level 10, something like that, we'll figure it out. But we're going to make him up as an actual D&D character on stream, pick like his uh, background and stuff like that, try and get him like true to a Warlock in Dungeon Keeper. And once we've made him, we're also then to um, we're also then going to make him in Hero Forge, and I'm going to order him on stream, and I'm going to order two models. One will be for myself, but the second model will be um, put up for a raffle, um, so people can put in, and whoever um, will select a winner, uh, a winner at random. And uh, I will send them Warriors the Warlock, and I'll probably make the character sheet um, available to everyone, because why not? There's no option to not do D&D. <laughs> Sorry, Lou Phoenix, we will be doing it. It's only a single stream. If you don't like it, you don't have to turn up. So, um, like, it'll be fun if you do. But if you don't want to, you don't have to be there. You are not, as I've said before, you are not contractually obliged to watch my streams. <laughs> and just, that would just be torturous. Being made to watch my content for that long. Whew. Right. What are these dudes doing? All of you, get your asses in there. Uh, still, still would like to vote that. Sorry, man. <laughs> That's not going to be a vote, mainly because I suspect I'm going to be trolled anyway, because when I checked the, um, I checked the results just before I started streaming, because you can check the results beforehand as they go, um, and yeah, so, so far it is an equal split of 33% for every result, so I suspect I'm partly being trolled, but we'll find out. If we get to the end of this stream, I look at the results, and it's still all just tied, then I'm just picking a date. <laughs> I'm just picking a date. What kind of democracy is this? This is the Estallery Scolier democracy, where Estallery Scolier puts forward some options, but really they're the things he wants. <laughs> but no, in all serious Lou Phoenix, um, I've offered this before, I asked if that was something people would be interested in, and there was a lot of interest in it. I appreciate you might not be a fan, but there was enough interest from everyone else that it's worth me doing the stream. So, but it'll only be like a one-off stream. I won't say I'll never do it again, we'll see, but it's not going to be a common stream. I I've said this plenty of times, Dungeon Keeper will always, for as long as I'm streaming, Dungeon Keeper will most likely always be... My, my main go-to. 
Right, okay, why have we got a load of mistresses not training? Is this room full? No, it's not full, so why are they not training? Well, we've got more creatures than him, and we can level higher. It's not that you may not do it, I just hate me not having an option to... <laughs> Okay, you know what, if I remember, and th that's the main point, if I remember, in future Lubenix, I will try, I will uh, add a opt-out option for you. I suspect people will just troll it, which is part of the reason why it's not in there this time, but I will try to remember to add a opt-out for <laughs> an opt-out vote. <laughs> oh, new bar trolls fed. Oh, that's probably good. That was one I'll go quite quickly. I need to do more work on that software, but I, I, I was going to do it while I had two weeks off, but I was just so busy and stressed out with other things, and I just needed time away from code, to be honest. I'll pick it up again at some point. <laughs> what, what, what were we just saying, like, not ten minutes ago about developers picking up projects and then not seeing them through to the end? Oh, man. Right. Okay, imps, you can start mining. Here you go. Start clearing out all of that. Uh, what, the house? I'm. <laughs> yeah, oh, you weren't here last stream, were you, Lubenix? Um, so I've not moved out yet. There were delays um, due to my landlord being an ass. I'm not going to get too loud because my window's open and he often walks past. But yeah, and there were delays with my referencing um, because of that. And so I've still not moved out. I am now moving out this Saturday, though. Um, I've got I've got the new apartment sorted. I'm moving into a small two-bed apartment. Not ideal, but it'll do for now. It's a six-month lease. I'm moving on Saturday. Um, I won't have internet for a few days, so I might not be streaming for a week again, which is really annoying given that I've only just started streaming. Um, yes, there is a bath. No, I am not going to be streaming from the bath. And no amount of poll votes will change that. <laughs> you can vote as hard as you want, but that's not changing. That is not changing. Um... So, yeah, I'll be moving to that little two-bed apartment. Um, I am hoping that I can potentially look at buying a property after that. But, we'll see. Um, of, trying to buy a house nowadays is difficult. But if I can, even if it ends up being a bit of a shitty property, I, I would like to buy um, a property instead of continually renting. It's not just the, the being able to invest. It's the fact that I've had enough of dealing with shitty landlords. I really have. I, I've, I'm done with it. Uh, it's a shame because my first proper landlord I have was uh, one while I was a student, and he was absolutely amazing. And all of them since have been utter shite. Um, which hasn't even been that many. It's just the amount I've had to deal with. So, 2,500 stream points. 2,500 stream points isn't even that many. And no, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not streaming from the bath, no matter what. It's not happening. Oh, other other streamers might do the hot tub streams, but it is, it is not my kind of stream. <laughs> Twenty five fifty. <laughs> that's that's only what like another fifteen minutes of watch time on top of twenty five hundred. <laughs> oh man, it's not happening. I'm afraid it is not happening. I, I'm quite happy to do death things on stream, but I'm not denying your time is is precious. <laughs> it's not time here, man. I just don't want to stream from a bathtub. It's as simple as. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what's his imps doing? Let's, uh, they, oh, they want to light me here, won't they? Oh, some of them do. Kill. All of them. Yeah, it's never going to be a time. For, it's not your time, Lupin. It's, it's just, I don't want to stream from a bathtub. As simple as that. Oh, man. I don't even know if there's power in that bathroom, to be honest. I, I mean, I suppose I could run an extension lead to the bathroom. 
I mean, the thing is, the setup itself, I could probably figure out a decent one, but I just don't want to do it. <laughs> hey, Razor, how you doing, man? Good to see you. How's everything at your end? Oh, actually, this lair's looking a little full. Yeah, it is getting a little full, isn't it? Let's uh, expand this lair a little bit. A little bit. Oh, man, we've still got plenty of gold as well. So... He won't be able to train much further. The AI never minds this gold seam. I don't know why, but it's like, he, even in the original, and even with all the AI fixes that have been done, he just never seems to mind that seam. I've never understood why. Really peculiar decision, that. Hmm. Hey, right, uh, come on, let's uh, expand the... Uh, I mean, probably don't need to, but I'm expand it anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Solid. Extra layer of space. Hopefully, we won't have any more crashes as um, I've got a... Well, I say it's a new PC. It's not. It's just a new power supply, a new case. Um, the side of the case is off at the moment. Uh, the reason for that is um, the case fans aren't plugged in. The case fans aren't plugged in because I think I might have snapped the only case fan header off the motherboard while I was pulling it out of the other case which was small and I was far too tired to be messing around with hardware at the time but I had to get it done. Um, and at the moment I don't have the cables to plug them straight into a power supply. So that's the only reason uh, <laughs> the case fans aren't working so I've had to take the side off for now. Which is a shame, because it's like a tempered... Where'd I put it? It's a tempered glass side panel. Where have I put it? Oh, come on. This is a brand new case. It cost me like 70 quid. If I've uh, lost that, I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be peeved with myself. It is payday. Really? Where have I put it? <laughs> How? How have I done this? Oh, my landlord. Wait, no, why would Peter take it? What, what would he do with a PC case? Mind you, it's a big piece of glass. I wouldn't be surprised if he just ran off with it. Give him what he's bloody well like. Um, that's a good point, actually. It's, okay, that's actually mildly concerning. I'll have to look for that later on, but... Um, uh, how could you lose tempered glass plate? I don't know. I've managed to do it potentially. But at the same time, I also know my landlord was in here earlier and he was pissing around with my gear, which I'm not getting into but, and I am absolutely fucking livid about. So, but, so it might be a case of I've lost it or it might be a case of he's pissed around with it. Who knows? Bloody hell. Damn it! It's Ah, found it! No. Why did I put it there? That's such a weird place to put it. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Big piece of tempered glass. And it's not its not on the case. I need to get some glass cleaner for that. Oh, right. Move those. Um, that. Oh, I'm not going to show those on screen because that will get me called some interesting things. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, right. What's that? Oh, shoot! Gold, 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 gold! I'm not paying attention. Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh, I was not paying attention. Well, at least payday's a while away. Oh, you stupid, stupid fool, Stowley. Hey, beer vampire, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, ooh, um, I've not heard that from everyone yet, beer vampire, but so far I've not been able to find anyone who um, is free at the moment to help you out. I've still got one or two, I've still got a couple of developer friends I've not heard back from yet. So I might be able to find someone, but we'll see. Um, if someone does become available, I will let you know ASAP. Uh, yeah, to be honest, Fiverr is not a bad place to look. Um, oh, what? Is it pair people per hour? That's another good place to look. Um, I would say be a little bit wary because some people will... Um, some people know how to code and others know how to code. But you can also get some great deals on there. Um, pair people per hour. Uh, I think it's pair people per hour dot com or something like that. But if you type it into Google, it should hopefully come up. 
Um, I did consider doing some freelance work on there at one point, but I never did it. Kind of wish I had, because that would have done some cool, uh, good, some, uh, been some good portfolio work. But yeah, um, like I said, be a little bit wary, because not everyone up there is great. But you can also find some great developers up there, great freelancers who can quickly throw together a script for you. Um, so it's definitely worth a look. Oh, oh shoot, okay, uh, alright, expand hatchery, and then I think we are going to have to go and attack soon by the look of it, so, uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, hang on, wait, is that, okay, no, I thought a new email would come in, it might have been porn, but no, it came in like five hours ago, that's why I already knew about, right, come on, there we go, right, that'll be big enough, That'll do for now. Oh man. Right, what levels are we looking at? What levels are we looking at? Seven, sixes. Okay. Uh, you. Yeah, I'm playing in the alpha build. Ooh, what the. Here we go. Yeah, I'm playing the alpha for 0.4.9. Um, this is not the latest version. I do need to update to the latest version. Um, the only reason this is not the latest version is because it's a cop and um, this is actually like my I've got like three or four copies of Keeper FX um, but this is a copy of the version where I'm playing through the Asmus campaign and um, I hadn't updated that version was because the latest uh, alpha it came out ages ago but it shows how long I was taken on Asmus um, but the latest version came out while I was playing Asmus I've said I'll update after I've finished the Asmus campaign. So... Right, you're probably just about out of gold. Um... So we're gonna save it. There, but there, but there. Or the bug we too. Uh, we'll kill you, just cause why not. There we go. Your minions are winning a battle. And then we will just go in for a big rowdy fight, eh? A big rowdy fight. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about that earlier, Bee Vampire. Um, unfortunately, the sim's not working on it anymore. Um, so, and it's not quite finished yet. But, but apparently a lot of the work's been done. So, it, it may get picked up again. It may not. I was saying that I would love to pick it up myself. I just, I, I don't have the time to do it at the moment. It, well, it's not just time, it's also motivation. Coding all day, coming back. <laughs> it's the main reason why most of my side pro, my, most of my own projects aren't getting done. So let's grab everyone. Yeah, okay, that's everyone. Okay, so now boop, 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 boop. let's get ready for well. I say a big fight. It's probably not gonna be huge. Would you still? Yeah, I'd totally be up for it. We can um, give it a go at some point. I, oh, why? I should have actually tried that while I was on leave. That would have been a nice break as well. Damn it. Yeah, um, we'll have to do it at some point, be a vampire. It'll have to be after I move, but yeah, we need to do it. Um, I know there's like a patch for it, and Lubinix could probably give more details on it, but um, I think there's a patch that we can try it on. So we'll give that a go. Um, it, it's not the most stable. I was hoping to wait until um, it was fully released, but if it's essentially on hold for now, on hiatus, um, then yeah, uh, we'll give that patch a go and we'll see how well it works. Played an older build, yeah, that's fair. All right, let's, let's just let's just charge in. I'm done. I, I'm fed up. I'm done. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think we are crushing it. Yeah, look, look. Oh, actually, the difference in levels is not as big as what I thought it might be. But there is the difference in numbers. Where's his dungeon heart? Oh, it's there. Come on, hurry up, get to his heart. Stop wrecking his rooms, because that's gold for me to keep training you. There we go. Wrecking these rooms. I wanted to sell those for more gold. 
there's like one piece left. Oh, there's still a gold up there, and we've got like 32,000. Oh, actually, there's a level up, isn't there? I forgot, there's a level up. There's a level up, um. I completely. Re and this is why we're doing the OG campaign, because if I did a speed run right now, I've completely forgotten what all the uh, tricks were we were using, the speed runs, right. So I think this was the increased level, wasn't it? Yep, there we go. Increased level. Be careful not to hit spacebar. You've done that before. It is payday. So we'll use that after everyone's done all the training they can. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Now we will run over and the transfer creature is over here. Do, 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 down this little gutterway. There we go. You have claimed an enemy hole. Just because I can't be bothered to keep bridging. I cannot be bothered to keep bridging. There we go. Your creatures have discovered a mysterious magic box. Oh, mysterious magic boxes. We love those. Why have my, not my imps gone down here to start claiming stuff? Come on. I want to start selling crap. Actually, we can start with the library. Uh, boom. There's a few hundred. <laughs> that poor him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I bet he's cursing me right now. I know I'd be muttering a lot of dark things under my breath if I was him. <laughs> I was about to read that message out, however, my voice is quite loud and it carries, and my window is open, and I live on a busy street, so um, I'm not, I, I, need to, I need to be careful about what I read out in messages, <laughs> because that would get me arrested, particularly in this area. <laughs> Man, I needed that drink. Oh, I needed that drink. Right. Okay, so. How's everyone doing on level? What's our highest level mistress? Level 8. We can get it to level 9. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just followers. Yeah, oh, I'm buying followers. That That's all that's happening. It's the only reason I've got... What am I on? Like 101 followers now? Yeah, I bought... So, I have 101 followers, I totally didn't pay for 100 of them. <laughs> the, the other one's secretly just my mother, or one of my mothers anyway. <laughs> I suppose I could say 99 and uh, two of them are my mothers, but probably won't look good. Wait, where's he, where was he digging for that? I'm cute. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, well, pff, never mind. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. I'm curious where that's going. Also, where's the increased level? Where are we looking? Uh, there we go. Increased level. Ah, oh, yeah, shift would have worked. Oh, well. Right, now we should have a level 10 mistress. So... Oh, burp coming. Oh! Okay, no. Burp suppressed. Didn't want to suppress it, but I accidentally suppressed it. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> No burps to the burps counter. <laughs> Steep side. Um, I think I'm at Every version the sword, two two something something. Out of the of that I stay. haven't updated my alpha for ages. Um, so give me a moment. Starry Scolia. Yeah, it is. Re oh, it's spelled. Fuck. I on. So uh, we'll go into the next one. I'll save it and I'll close the game and we'll check. But I'm pretty sure it's a pretty old version. Uh, Game saved. Do, do, right, save that now. If we come out of Dungeon Keeper, it says it in the launcher, doesn't it? Uh, so if we come here, oh, of course you've done that. Of course you've done that because sod you. Yeah, it, it's definitely old. Um, so any bugs you see here are quite possibly things you've already fixed. But now I'm. Uh, here we go, 23.13. So, 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what version on now, but um, I know that you've had at least one update from there. I'm pretty sure you've had two. And that was from what I heard before I kind of went AWOL for a month. So either way, it is not the latest version. 24.31, okay. So yeah, probably a few versions ahead then. Whew. Yeah, that, that's a lot of fixes. <laughs> That, that, that's a decent number of fixes. So, yeah, I am on an older version. Oh. Right, okay. There we go. Load game. Bargery 1. Loaded. Right, uh... You need so, to um... Your creatures. Do that. We'll get a gold room here. But I also cannot be asked to deal with blue. So, um, we're going to... We're going to use speedrun tactics. I'm not actually going to be trying to speedrun it, but we're, we're just going to go deal with blue straight away. Because I, 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 I can't be asked. Cannot be asked. And then we'll deal with the heroes as and when we get to them. Come on, Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue Skies. Here we go, I have found him. There we go. Speed, let's go really fast, and I should have slapped your ass. I can't believe I've just said that about a mistress. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay. When you uh, say something without really thinking about it. Right, there we go. We'll leave you there because I'm sure you can deal with like level 1 crap. If you can't, then you do not deserve to be in my realm at <laughs> level 10. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm secretly... Oh no! Oh, he's counter-attacking! I am just imps, imps to the rescue! <laughs> How many imps is this gonna take? I'm oh, sorry, I can't be asked. We'll just do that, and then uh, we'll possess her back. But yeah, no, uh, that is not happening. <laughs> uh, showing off kinky side, yeah. Live on stream. Oh no, I think my landlord just walked past and my windows open. Well, I'll make for an awkward conversation. Um, I really need to learn to what I say when my window's open. Right, okay. Uh, anyway, back to the game. So, let's get training room there. We'll have hatchery there. Library there or not. We don't have any gold, apparently, because sod it. So, we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Right. Add it in. Yeah, okay, you, you've killed them. Now work on the dungeon heart. Thank you. That was your friendly PSA reminder. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just talking for the sake of talking. <laughs> oh, boy. As if I've only been going for like 50 minutes as well. It feels like I've been going for hours already. I didn't realize how exhausted I was. Oh, man. I, I want the weekend to get here. I've already had two weeks off, and yet... What? What? Who is even training? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just want the weekend to get here, man. Perhaps you don't wear pants and... <laughs> Look, I am, well, I'm wearing shorts right now. I am wearing sports shorts. Look. I'll do my regular thing. Look, shorts. Short. Oh, okay. I'm going to break this chair. I'm either going to break the chair or I'm going to break my leg. Most likely, uh, my leg. Well, not my leg. Probably my neck, more likely. Although I suspect the chair will give out first. Right. Oh, we'll focus on killing him and then you can come home. 
Man, nice. It's like dealing with teenagers. Your right. Are winning a battle. Do, 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 do. Across here Your and grab attack. that gold. Your oh man. To be fair, this weekend should be a decent one because after I move out, me and a few friends are going go karting, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, so looking forward to that. Right, hang on. Let's uh, do that. There we go. Some of your minions are unable to reach their legs. Da, da, da. Right, there we go. Ooh. Your minions right, are winning we a battle. No, go away, fly. Oh, pardon me. Oh, well, that was a burp, but it was kind of crap. Are a I, <laughs> if you want to call it a burp. Oh, come on, you're so close. You you're so there we go. Up. Now you can come home. Now you can come home. Alright. Uh, we'll be able to deal with the heroes fairly easily as well. We'll give it a bit of time first, but you should be able to deal with them fairly easily. Uh, uh, right, you guys, get your asses in there. We'll expand the training room. And we'll get a warlock in the training room. We will get more imps. If we don't have many imps, we will say be gone to the spider. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Oh man, I didn't realize how knackered I was. It, oh man. <laughs> I've been back at work for three days and that's it. <laughs> oh. Oh man, well to be fair, actually what I really want is to get out and do things, but... Uh, and Scouts is finished this summer as well. To be fair, that that's both a good thing and a bad thing. It, like, it means I've got more time to get paperwork and that done. Because I am behind on the training! Just fun. Right. Uh, right, go on, back across here. I was about to say, first play follow the leader, but this is more like, well, I can't even pin the tail on the donkey, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, right, what spells in that we got? You can get buggered. Uh, we've already beat him. Okay. So, uh, you can go in there with a level one, and the rest of you can go in there. Try and get some more levels under your belt. Oh man. Do, 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 do. Oh man. Anyway, actually my package you arrived earlier. Let's see what these are like. So yeah, I said we're going go kind and a few friends uh, uh, me and a few friends are going go kind and we've said we're gonna dress up as like Mario Sonic characters. Um so I or everyone else is going as Mario characters. I don't like Mario characters because they're just boring. I, I find the, they've got no personality or anything. So I said I'm going to go as a character from Sonic the Hedgehog. So I've got like... I, um, I'm going to go as Tails. I've got like a yellow tracksuit and that. Although this is really like heavy. Like not as in heavy heavy. But this is something that's going to keep you warm. And it's like, it's been high 20s here of late. So I'm, not, I'm wearing this, I will probably roast. Like, it, it'll work, but I will roast. <laughs> so that comes down to a thing. But uh, the bit, and this is going to, you guys are going to find this absolutely hilarious. No, I am wearing shorts right now. However, talk of wearing things, when we go go kind, I've said I'm going as Tails, um, Tails, so Miles Tails Prowler from Sonic. And uh, I've not told the others yet because I've just want, like, I've done this just to see the looks on their faces. The, there was these Tails on Amazon for like four or five quid. Um, so I've got two of them. I'm gonna, like, I'm not walking there in them because I've got some level of dignity left, but I'm just gonna stand outside so they see me wearing two tails when they get there. And honestly, like, the eight quid I paid for those will totally be worth the looks on their faces. <laughs> oh, man. Skinny pants. I don't get this. If you stream Commando, you might as well do it in one. I'm not stream. Oh, no! <laughs> 
Why were you here, Tim? No! Why? I thought you weren't watching. Don't tell the others. What was the chance? How long have you been stored like skulking in the background, Tim? Have you literally just joined for that? Oh, that ruins everything. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, come on, Tim. How long have you been there? Damn it. Oh. Damn it. And the mums even worked hard to not tell you guys. Like, not tell you. Because... It, to be make it clear, Tim, I was talking to the mums, it was half their idea, half my idea. But, oh my god. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. Um, I think you're gonna need to make a fuck variable for that be a vampire, but once you make it, yeah, you can add it up. Oh. I, I thought you normally say when, you normally say when you're in chat, I didn't think you were watching. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like it's crashed, unfortunately. Hang on, let's... Uh... Oh, man. I thought I'd fixed... Oh. Okay, I guess it had crashed. That's new. Well, uh, yet another project that I'll say I'll work on at some point, but probably never will. Oh, Tim, please don't tell the others, because otherwise that would have made it an absolute waste. I've not, you've not put anything in the Discord yet. Please say you're not going to tell the others. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like, the eight quid will totally be worth the looks on their faces, but if they already know about it, then that just ruins the whole point. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck's sake. Anyway, right. Back to Dungeon Keeper. Is it a secret you are doing pantless streams? I'm not pantless. I have shorts on. I have shorts on. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. What kind of deprived stream do you have? Actually, I'm not going to ask that because um, we already know what you guys would uh, like to see on this stream. <laughs> Anyway, um, the program's back up and running, so you should be able to play with the counters again now. Though for how long for, I don't know. Oh, you won't... Oh, man. Damn it. <laughs> to be fair, like, you weren't likely to react that badly anyway. You, were, you would have likely just shaken your head. So, not an issue. Um, Lubinix, when the program crashes, it loses everything it's in there. And um, that text is up there just because it's saved to a file. So at the moment, there's no counters. Uh, you'll have to, if you add a new counter, you'll see it refresh everything. Now that the stream's lagging for me, the internet's going, if you waited five minutes, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Damn it! Well, you might as it, like I said, it was half the mum's idea. If you go talk to them, they'll be disappointed that you know now. But damn it, I didn't think you were watching. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh boy, never mind. I want to see you in a hot tub with some with some otters. Why otters? Where am I going to get otters from? Also, is a bathtub really a good place for otters? I, like, I know they like water, but not knowing much about them. <laughs> otters and beavers. <laughs> I, I don't think Lincoln has a zoo, mate. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think there's a zoo anywhere in this um, area. So, and even if there was, I don't think they'd take well to me just breaking them out. Actually, well, I can't legally drive. I do know how to drive a car, well I know how to control a car, it's been years since I've driven on the road. But I don't have a driving license, nor do I have a car. So, make a collaboration with Marine Mama Rescue. <laughs> uh, I would love to know what their reaction would be to something like that. That that would be a, um, that would be a crazy, 
<laughs> Imagine getting that email. So this dude wants to borrow some otters so that he can stream Dungeon Keeper from a bath with them? Oh, man. Yeah, honestly, that would... I, I would be curious how uh, most people on Twitch would react to that. Mind you, actually, knowing Twitch, most people would just totally accept that. Most people would just be like, oh, that's really cool, actually. Because Twitch is Twitch, and frankly, nothing surprises Twitch at this point. Right, come on. Imps, do your damn job. How long to cycle? I don't know how far one is, so I doubt there's one any... We're that close, but it's probably a while away. Otter at the back of a bike. What, am I just going to, like, tie the otters onto the back of a bike? I don't think the otters would appreciate that. Damn it, stop killing my imps. Right. Dude up here. Oh, he, he's he gone through a bad route. Never mind. <laughs> Baby seat. I'd only get a single otter in that, and again, I don't think they'd appreciate it. Also... I do not want to know what's in your uh, internet history, uh, internet browser history, be a vampire, if this is the kind of thing that sounds hot to you. That is uh, mildly disturbing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I can't... The stupid thing is, I can't get this image of me in a bath with fucking otters out my head. Why did you... Why do you guys do this to me? <laughs> oh, I did not need that image in my head. Oh, I did not need that image in my head. Oh, boy. Right, um... Back to Dungeon Keeper. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, I'm working on the bigger lair. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Bigger lair. Oh, that's not quite what I've... Oh, um... No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Well, that's not made a whole lot of space. Um... Make that a torch bigger. Oh, man. Redeem suggestible. What animal... Why would I get 75 frogs? <laughs> I mean, if you want, yeah, I will. You know what? Yeah, we'll make we'll make an actual poll for that. Um, we, we'll make a we'll make a poll now. We'll put it in the chat, and I want to see what the results of this poll are. So, um, oh man. Uh, oh no, that's the other poll. Uh, well, while we're here, we might as well. Okay, I still tied. Anyway. Du, du, du. No, we can have multiple uh, polls going at once. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, we can have multiple polls going at once. So, a new poll. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe I'm making this uh, poll. So, what have we got? Two otters. Uh, one mini horse. Or 75 frogs. Where do you guys get these ideas? Uh, one ele oh man, electric eel. That is um, that is nasty. Uh, <laughs> create poor. Here we go. Right. And you know what? I, with no context, I'm gonna drop this in my uh, Discord server. Um, and you know what? Um. You know what? It sod it, actually. Um, no context. Um, we will put up a tweet for this. Um, which is going to raise some very... <laughs> Might uh, get a few strange messages. But just no context. Just there's the poll. Oh, man. Right, okay. <laughs> What's the kinky option? How is any of this kinky? I do not understand the train of thought here. Have we got any results yet? I'm not voting on this. I'm not voting. <laughs> hey, Vivius, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah, it's fucked so far. <laughs> where, where would I get a mini horse? 
<laughs> so you want me to bathe with a pony? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> How are you doing man? It's good to see you. Welcome to the streams. Where, when, where we normally play Dungeon Keeper but occasionally we get a little bit sidetracked with shit like this. Oh man! <laughs> oh, it even, it even shows. <laughs> oh man! I didn't think it would show that. Oh, I'm not deleting it. That's staying there. Like, oh, th my only question is if like. <laughs> I know that I saw the guys at work occasionally look at each other's Twitters, so if they see that, I'm gonna have some questions to answer at work in the morning. <laughs> Borrow it from a little girl. How many little girls do you know have enough money and space to own a pony or a horse? But <laughs> that's. <laughs> oh, you get a mini horse from a quest for you. Hang on. I, what? So, hang on. Are you wanting me to get, like, what does, what, uh, My Little Pony dolls? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is getting weird way too quickly. I mean, it was already fucking weird. Oh, uh, a real, oh, man. No, I, this is, this is, but, no, this is getting to bestiality, guys. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this, no. <laughs> Oh, why? Why would you... Oh, man. Okay. Uh, is this updated? Have we got any more? No, just that. Okay, we'll leave this up in the background. We'll come back to it in like um, 15, 20 minutes. And we'll see if we've got any more results. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. I remember why you... The say, oh, my... Originally, why I um, was using my Twitter, I was like, okay, so my Twitter is going to be like a semi-professional page where I post about coding, projects I'm doing, game jams, uh, scout work I do, stuff like that. Essentially, like a um, unofficial portfolio. And now I'm posting shit like this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it, oh, why do I do this to myself? If people were to look at my Twitter now, oh man, oh that 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 it's a beautiful sight, really. It's a beautiful sight. Right, um, boom boom. Right, go do it. Shows carry. It shows something. Um, it definitely shows the ability to have a laugh. And if nothing else, it shows the ability to have a laugh. So. Oh man, I just hope none of my explorers find my Twitter. Like in the past, I have had scouts find my um, social media. Most of the time, I don't like I don't talk to them or anything on it for safeguarding reasons. But they 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 have done things like, oh yeah, you posted this video on YouTube or whatever. If they saw something like that, oh bloody hell. Anyway, anyway. Right, let's uh, keep going. So we know there's still going to be some dudes in here. There's going to be some more dudes down here. Down here. So... Oh, me, there's still plenty of gold for us to get. Oh, I don't want to expand the uh, life just yet. Because, yep, there's one. Doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop. Oh, bow demon. Adam! Adam! Oh, oh yeah. Mistresses can teleport level 10, can't they? Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I don't really need to go after gold, do I? Oh, uh, we might do anyway, just for the sake of it. We 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 will keep our we will keep our gold stocks like well well stocked, well stocked. There's better words for it than that, but I'm going with well stocked anyway. <clears throat> uh, the one hidden down south, yeah, down uh, here, isn't there? Uh, down here, and I can't remember if there's one down here. Uh, I know we've got dungeon specials still, so. You go knocking nine doors on that. Uh, you are going to die to lightning traps because bullshit traps do me nothing. Uh, what are you not going? Come on, come on. 
There we go. Do 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 do. Oh come on, what's taking you so long? There we go. You bloody well took long enough with that, didn't you? Right. Boom, 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 boom. Where the hell are you going? I wish, I wish I understood music enough to actually like. I don't understand how other people are so good at music. Well, I do understand, but it amazes me how some people are, can just have like a backing track or something, just like spew words that kind of go together musically or whatever the term is. It is beyond anything I can do <laughs> by quite a substantial margin. I'm still not very good with guitar. Like I've been learning for a few months now. I'm, <laughs> I'm still, I haven't even learned to use all six strings yet. I think I'm only maxing out at five. Uh, you're leaving me? Ah, no problem, Lou Binix. Thanks for joining, ma'am. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the stream. This interesting stream where you've been talking about me bathing with animals, which is hugely, hugely disturbing. It's not actually going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. See you later, man. <clears throat> I will post the results of the poll, though. Uh, I'll post them in my Discord, and we'll see what everyone makes of that, because... Oh man, I'm not posting that on Twitter. It's bad enough just the polls up there. We'll, we'll just leave the poll up there with no context. Which is, uh, re really, that's worse. But, oh well, I like to shoot myself in the foot. <clears throat> oh Your man. Alright, here we go. Plenty of gold. Ooh, we got another little dwarf. Said dwarf is going to die. He, ooh, we got level 7. <clears throat> there we go. He's going to bite the, the dust. Right, the there we go. Uh, there's still an archer behind here. Uh, so, for you guys, through the door. Uh, we still got the door down here. Wall really, none of you warlocks have been training. What do I pay you for? Damn it, warriors. Get your brothers, get your brothers in gear. Right, there we go. <coughs> More gold here. We will take that, and we'll spawn a few more imps. <clears throat> right. Um, I don't think. I think it's just the archer down here, and there might be another dude up here. Let's take a quick gander. <clears throat> take a quick gander, although it might be empty this bit actually. I do not remember. It's been a while. Damn. As if I don't remember this. I played this enough as a kid. Oh man, I have been that stressed with work, it's just been forcing out all this other stuff. There we go. There's the archer. Said archer's about to have a bad day at work. Because it's hammer time, baby! Well, more like mace time, but. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. I'm super scared. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, I won't bother with the bloody warlocks because they're not any decent level. Got one level six one. That'll do. There we go. Right. Before we go on to next level, uh, we know that there is a transfer creature. So we might as well go grab the transfer creature. And then when, once we've got the transfer creature, I will take a break because I need the toilet. And then we'll go on to the next level. <coughs> Uh, are Warlock's passive training faster if they're... I don't think so, Razor. Um, I could be wrong in that, but I think it's just a set training rate. Um, I think for all creatures, because it's like um, dragons do it near lava um, and tentacles do it near water. Um, I think for all of them, it's just a set training rate. But someone else may uh, correct me on that. Oh, bleeding hell. I wish I could. I keep getting these like tiny baby birds. It's like no, I would much rather just do one proper burp and get all the gas out of my system. All right. He may have even already grabbed the transfer creature, so it might be in his library. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Yep, there it is. We'll take the level ten mistress because why not? And we'll just rush the next dude. Why not? We'll rush him. Alright, there we go. 
So, uh, in fact, no. We'll pause it there, be just in case it breaks. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, here we go. <coughs> Cheese. Um, you, if you want to add that to a counter Jeevius, you've got to make the counter first. So it's exclamation mark, new var, no space, and then space, and then cheese, and then you can add to it. Um, hang on, I'll quickly do it for you. Uh, new var, cheese. There we go. So now that will add it. And now if you put exclamation mark cheese, it will add to it. And uh, you can also take away from it and you can add more than one at a time. Um, it's a bit of custom software. I started writing and I just you stopped working on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go for a quick break because I need a toilet and I might make another cup of tea. We'll see. I will be back in a few minutes. Uh, which hockey is it? It's that one. Helps if I hit the right button. Oh, I forgot the cup tea in the end. Um, yeah, it is a little bit intricate. Um, the thing is, to say this um, software is alpha is being generous. I did. I only. I've only put in a very little bit of work. There was a reason for why it was done that way. I don't remember why. Um, but frankly, it's it's one of those things where I keep saying I'm going to get more work done it, but it's finding time and motivation because it's one of many projects that I've got on the go. Um, but yeah, it could definitely do with some improvements. If you've got any ideas for what you think could be done to improve it, I'm more than open to them. I just don't know when I'll be next working on it. So um, if you type in exclamation mark GitHub, It'll take you to my GitHub, and um, it's all the projects on there. There is a file where it shows the commands on there, and there are a few more, but it's not the most advanced bit of software. It, feel free to post ideas on there, but... <laughs> um, <clears throat> it is paid but yeah, I don't know when I'll next be working on it. Because um, <laughs> there's another project I've got up there that I actually put loads of work into, um, which was a text adventure game engine. Where you could make your own text adventure. And I actually got really far with that one. I spent most of the first lockdown working on it. And that's just died off. I can't remember the last time I worked on that. Um, right, anyway. Why am I going to quit? What? No. Space bar! 
Space boar, wolf, me lad. Panic right. Intrinsica, a weeping wizened. Here we go. Uh, also, freaking get the capitalization on your name, right? There we go. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, so like I said, if you've got any um, comments, feel free to post them on there. And I do like look at them. Um, and I am, I am looking for feedback on that kind of thing. It's just like I said, I don't know when I'm next going to be working on it. So don't be expecting any fixes anytime soon. Um, but that would be something that I would be looking into. Right. Anyway, let's... Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I really cannot be asked with this level. I can't well get to like level 9. Level 9 is a fun level. So we're, we're just going to... Just going to do this. So... Here we go. Charge! Do, 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 do. Ah, come on, get it right. There we go. Because um, when I first started that bit of software, I actually had a lot of ideas for what I was going to do with it. So I was going to have like mod-only commands, make it so that your moderators in the channel can do things. Um, change... Um, one thing I wanted to do, but I'm not sure you can because of how it works. I was hoping I could get it to so you can change the colour and that of the text. But the problem being is that um, the the program doesn't actually draw it to a stream. The program just writes it to a text file. Um, and then Streamlabs just reads the text file. That means that the program has no way of dictating what it looks like on stream. Which... <sighs> It's a shame. There's no way of changing it without then scripting for OBS. And oh man, that takes it to a whole new board game. <laughs> just, just dealing with Twitch's API is problem enough. I had enough of a nightmare dealing with Twitch the Twitch API. Oh man. Right. Okay. Let's get a small library. Yeah, it really would. And frankly there's other things that I've brought build in first like um, moderator only commands and stuff like that so I wanted to make it so because I was going to build it originally for other streamers I even had some streamers say um, yeah we'll test it out for you I sent them a copy none of them ever did thanks guys <laughs> not that I can say anything because I haven't worked on it either <laughs> so I cannot say anything right come on kill the buggers there we go Right, now back to her dungeon heart. Their dungeon heart and kill it. Right, strafe, strafe, strafe for all your worth, for the speed. There we go. Right, so, there, there, we'll have a gold room here. This is not going to be a good dungeon, but I cannot be bothered. Do, 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 do. Hey, Amlux, how you doing, man? Welcome to the streams. How you doing today, my friends? Do, 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 do. Right. Uh, another aim. And then you can all go mine this bloody chunk of gold. Bleeding gold. Lead. Gold, not lead. Yeah, words. Words are hard. Good, that's what we like to hear. Where are you going? That's not the dungeon heart. Back this way, you. Ooh, I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. Blaze End. Which level is that? Um. Oh, I should really learn <clears throat> which level's which, but I always remember them by their number, not the name. Blaze End is, is it level 16? Is it the one where, like, you start with um, two Reapers, um, and is it a Bow Demon and Warlock, and uh, it's 20th? It's definitely not level 20. Level 20 is Skybird Trill. Because um, that's the last level of the campaign. Blaze is 18. Ah, yes. I Thank you, Jordan. How are you doing, by the way, man? Good to see you. Yeah, 18 is a bit of a bugger. Um, I would actually say 18 is harder than level 20. Um, it took me longer to do um, level 18 as a kid than it took me to do level 20. Um, oh, so... I was about to say a good way of doing it, but it's been that long that I can't remember how I do it. I remember how we do it speed run wise, but I wouldn't suggest that because that's not satisfying to do in the long run. Your um, are a battle. How do you Your do that one? I think you. Oh, you've got to build up quickly, actually. Um, 
you've got to try and build up your forces quite quickly because the waves never stop coming. I think. Um, I think the Some way I did it is I went for the gold in the heads. southwest and I barricaded myself in um, for that gold and the your leftmost gold in the center, reinforced her around there, um, and it would give me just enough time to get a few creatures up. The problem being is with barricading yourselves in your is that mo heroes keep spawning. Um, and they'll keep spawning until you reach the creature max, which is 255. Um, so you've then got to try and take the waves out one at your a time, which is difficult. Um, there is a better way of doing it. I can't your remember what it is. Come on, you're... I'm meant to be good at this game, and I can't remember how you your do it. But yeah, don't your worry, it is a difficult level, that one, man. How long have you been playing that one? About bloody time, you cow. Took you long enough. I say that like I was putting in any real effort. Uh, but, but can you? Uh, no. So the creature limit. No problem. I'm lo I'm looks. Um, if you want more advice, I would join the Keeper Clan Discord, and there's loads of people in there who can tell you how to complete the level. Most of them are far better <laughs> players than I am. Uh, <laughs> As for the unit limit count. You can't bypass it, so the unit, um, you can cheese it, I've done that before, um, I actually do it while speedrunning, um, for level 17, the level before that, um, and uh, the, so the creature limit is 255, but that's not per player, that's per map, so if you want to cheese it, you can just keep spawning imps, and you can max out the creature limit, and it will stop heroes being spawned. The problem with it is it gets very expensive very quickly. Um, you can make it cheaper by sacrificing imps. However, you've then got to have, you've got to research up to temple and then be sacrificing imps as you're making them, which can take time to do. Um, so I don't think that tactic is going to be that viable for Blaze End. Uh, I started around winter last year, I've been playing on and off. I never played this game as a kid, so I don't have the nostalgia attached to it, but I do know it's a fantastic game. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, out of interest, Amlux, are you playing the GOG version, and have you got Keeper FX at all? Um, the main reason I'm asking is that Keeper FX is a community mod, and it's actually what I'm playing now. Um, and it actually adds loads of new campaigns on top of the OG one. But the main reason I'm suggesting it is it has adds a lot of optimization. So the base game, um, as good as it is, it's got a lot of bugs in it. And it runs really slowly. Even on a good computer, it can start lagging quite badly. Um, Keeper FX adds a lot of optimizations. Um, honestly, I would recommend it. Like If you're enjoying um, playing Dungeon Keeper, I would totally recommend it. Um, you can get it for free, again, if you go on the Keeper Clan Discord, a link for it um, is in the chat just above, there's a link to my Discord and the Keeper Clan. Again, there's people in there who will help you out, or I'm happy to help you out, um, but if you just type in Keeper FX on Google, you should be able to find it. No problem, man, it's always good to see more people joining the community and playing the game. Some of us have been playing it for years, um, others have been only finding it through lockdown, but honestly... So long as you enjoy the game, that's the main thing. Anyway, so what am I doing? I am um, making an absolute mess of this, is what I'm doing. Um, okay, I've killed the other keeper. So it's just the heroes left. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. How have I, sp how have I like, completed this game? I'm making such a bloody mess of this. Oh, I stopped streaming for a month. And while I wasn't the best at it in the first place, I've got even worse. <laughs> and I expect to speedrun this campaign in less than three hours when I'm sat here on level 8 like, Oh, I've killed the enemy keeper, now what do I do? Oh fuck, the fairies have killed my imps. Why are you not fighting? That's it, thank you. And now you've... Plenty mistress, right. Come on, there we go. Go on. One dead fairy. Next dead fairy. Get your ass over here. There we go. There we go. Oh shit, yeah. A hatchery would be uh, a good idea. Um, she's probably getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, food. Yeah, food. Food would be good. Uh, creatures kind of want to eat. 
to hatchery. Yeah, well, that's because I've only just built the bloody thing. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, 16 was really of the top two. Yeah, 16 is an absolute nightmare. It really is. I didn't transfer creatures into it, so I've just had to keep trying over and over. And, um, yeah, so there, there's a few ways of tackling level 16. Um, if you want the speedrunner's approach, you just transfer a level 10 Reaper from the level beforehand. But there are other ways of doing it. The way I originally did it as a kid, although it's not the best way of doing it, is um, by... Uh, you can actually trick the enemy heroes who come to attack you to go after the enemy keeper. You don't need to beat the heroes to win. You only need uh, the other keeper to die. Um, and if you allow the other keeper to attack you and time it just right as the heroes come at you, um, you can actually trick the heroes to going south and killing the other keeper. Um, it's not the best tactic, but it does work. That's the one I did originally. And um, there are other tactics. You can try and build up a force to attack. It's kind of difficult, but it's possible. Um, sometimes you can uh, look out and the AI will just go completely dead, particularly in the base game. It doesn't happen as much in Keeper Effects where there's been some fixes to the AI. I did have a good laugh at a technical disaster. It was last stream. Oh, man, last stream. Like... We seem to be good for now, like, like I said in the Discord, I've got a new case, I have a new power supply, the rest of it is still the same hardware, but it seems to be going stable for now, so, looks like we should be good. So, <laughs> I'm just expected to just die now, just outright crap. Show again, uh, can do. Um, if you want, I'll post a um, picture in the Discord after the stream be a vampire so you can see. Um, it is, if for those of you interested in um, PC hardware and stuff like that, um, the case is a NZXT H510. The power supply is a Corsair TX750 watt. I was only going to go for 650 watt, but um, the 750 watt was only like £2 extra, so I was like, might as well get that. Um... Yeah, let's start laying some creatures in. Uh, I could just kill the uh, other heroes with just the mistress, but yeah, why not? Why not? We're not in any rush. Um, yeah, so the hardware is the same as what I had um, in the PC beforehand. So all the actual hardware is second hand except the storage. So it's an i5 4690K, which is a really old fifth generation Intel. Games. Fairly well for its age, but it is pretty limited. Um, 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a GTX 1060, um, 6 gig version. Um, so I got all of that in the with the old case and power supply. Um, everything except when it this was when it was in the old case and power supply. But everything except the storage I got for 375 quid at the end of January, which I was pretty happy about. But I am looking to upgrade. Um, it is a 4690K. i5 4690K. So that's a 5th generation Haswell Intel. <laughs> PC porn. <laughs> I honestly got to love a good bit of PC. Um, I, I, I have had NCXT cases before. I used to have a NCXT S340. I quite liked that case. There were a few niggles I had about it, but it was a good case overall. Um, I actually had an i7-4790K build, because uh, that was... I built that back in like 2013, 2014, while 5th generation was a lot more modern. Um, but I'm hoping that either at the end of this month or next month, I don't know when, um, I'm going to be upgrading and I'm looking at getting like a Ryzen 7 3700X. Um, it, I only get like a Tomahawk B550 motherboard. I, I'm not going to go super high end because I've got other things I've got to put my money towards. But I will be making a bit of an upgrade at the end of the day. A Ryzen 7 3700X is still a hell of an upgrade from an i5 4690K. Um, th this thing has done pretty well all things considered. But I, I am looking forward to having a lot more cores. It's not even just it's like the speed and IPC improvements. It's the extra core count and thread count that I'm looking forward to having. Hey, Will, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. I made the stream and so far, 
it's being more stable. <laughs> That's how we actually got onto this whole PC uh, parts topic. You need a bigger treasure home. Yeah, so we're doing pretty well for the moment. Pretty well. It like, as I said, I do want to upgrade. I will be swapping out the parts at some point in the next few months. But for now, what's in there? Uh, it'll cost new mama by van. Yeah, that is the thing. So um, I'll be looking at getting, like I said, a Tomahawk B550. It's not a top end board, but it'll do. Um, I'm not going to be overclocking or anything like that. Um, cooler, I'm just looking again like a Cooler Master Evo 212. Good old, look reliable. I've used them before. They're brilliant. They're a bit of a sod to mount, but they're great tower coolers and they'll work. Um, it'll keep 3700X cool quite easily. Um, as for RAM, I'm just going to stick with uh, two sticks of um, two 8 gig sticks at 16 gigs. I might upgrade to 32 gigs later on, but for now, 16 gigs will do. And I'll probably go about 3200 megahertz. Probably something like Corsair Vengeance or whatever. We'll, I'll see what's available at the time. Why not wait till DDR5 is mainstream? Um, mainly just because um, I just need the upgrade. So. Um, it might have been. My internet here is still kind of crappy. It's another reason why I'm looking forward to moving out Saturday. One of many reasons. But um, the, it looks like the stream's caught up now. Uh, the reason I'm not waiting for DDR5 and for like, um, I think uh, six, uh, Ryzen 6000 series is around the corner, isn't it? But um, no. Um, I just need an upgrade. As I said, all these parts were got second hand and some of the stuff I do at the moment is um, it, this PC is struggling on a little bit and I don't want to be dropping loads. So one of the reasons I'm going for the parts I'm looking at is I can get them pretty cheap. So when I was first looking, including the um, case and power supply that I've already bought and got here, um, these parts and the CPU, the cooler, the RAM and the motherboard all came to about 550 quid, which isn't that much. So it means I'll be getting a decent PC for not too much and um, I can work with that. I, I hate to say it, Adam, but I think that's just your internet. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, man, it absolutely sucks. Um, yeah, things are a bit more stable now, thankfully. Be, be, be. Mainly just because I want it, I want it now. There is a little bit of that in involved. Yeah, I will completely admit to that. I did want to get a 5000 series CPU, but the main reason I've not gone for that is because um, to I would have to pay more for a motherboard that would definitely have a BIOS that would support it. Or I could get a motherboard that would support it with a BIOS update, but then I would need to find an older chip to put in it to just to flash you with a new BIOS. It's a load of faff. Can't be bothered. And frankly, a 3700X, still a pretty good CPU. How are you doing, Nitraska? Good to see you, man. Welcome to a Estalli Scolia stream where, for once, we don't seem to be having many technical issues. This is a very rare occurrence, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cheap, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing it, because I've got other things that I need to be putting my money towards at the moment. Um... <laughs> I'm not back on Asmist yet. We're still on the OG campaign as I'm easing back into it. Plus, it's given me a chance to remember bits that I've forgotten. For when I finally do the next speed run, I will do another speed run at some point. I don't know when, but I will do another speed run. Also, while more people are here, there's a polling chat. So the stream where we will be making Wars the Warlock as a D&D &D character and then ordering a couple of models of him on Hero Forge, one of which I will do a raffle for. Uh, there's a poll for that in chat. Um, vote for when you want that stream to be. It'll be sometime next weekend, so it can be the Friday Just evening, maybe. Saturday afternoon, or early Sunday. Um, so far, it's a little bit random. Also, um, I don't know if many of you have seen, but you know what? Sorry, it's probably still in my... Uh, Paste. I, I'm not even going to explain it, actually. Uh, we're, I'm just going to post it and let you guys read through it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm doing good. Eating strawberries and still write up D&D stuff. Oh, honestly, now you're making me jealous. I would love some strawberries right now. Damn. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, how's your D&D stuff going, man? You must be running up a lot if that's still going. What, uh, what levels are these dudes at? Oh, they're, 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 good. they're good enough. We can go deal with the assholes up here. We can go deal with the assholes that's up here. Oh, man. Hey, Lord Samuel, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well this fine evening. I noticed the poll. Any of those options works for me as long as I know in advance which one it'll be. Oh, that poll. I thought you were on about the second poll I linked in about which animal should I bathe with. I was like, what do you mean any of those work for you? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will uh, we'll be taking a look at the end of this stream. Um, and if there's a clear-cut answer for which one's the most popular, we'll decide at the end of this stream. If there's a tie, then I'll do another quick shout. And either way, we'll even know at the end of this stream, at worst, by tomorrow evening. So you will know in advance, Will. Oh, man. I'm writing up some magical items they can use in my realm of death. Ooh, do tell. I love magic items. Um, I, I've got a cool... I've got a cool item um, that my party are doing at the moment. Uh, user, one of my party use at the moment uh, in the group that I DM. Um, they were meant to. They found it in a um, magic dungeon. They were meant to trade it for other magic items, but they decided to use it, which is like, um, okay, we'll use it at your own peril. Because um, it's an item that I originally found online, but I've expanded and given like some history to in my uh, custom campaign. But basically, they're braces with a gemstone inside them, and they're Dwarven Tiel de Bracelets. And the idea being is that hunters would wear them, and depending on the gem uh, stored in them, they would have a different spell stored in them. And this spell, it's only a level 1 spell, but the spell could be used once a day. Um, uh, but, um, so they've got that, and they also give a bonus to attack Your and damage rolls. Um... Pause that for a moment. But the item they found is a prototype of these. Um, so another feature they're meant to have is that the user can sort of shout a command word and they would coil into gables and they would entangle a target nearby. Um, however, these are a prototype. So it's meant to be a magical mechanical item. Um, and the prototypes can misfire and entangle the user instead. Um, and they took him to a dwarven smith, and he was like, yeah, yeah, these are pretty cool. So, um, I'll trade you for a magic item that won't screw you over. And, uh, the monk went, actually, no, I want you to, um, I, I will use these braces. It's like, you want to use the braces, which, while I'll give you an attack bonus, might trap you in your own spell during a fight. Okay, you do you. <laughs> Back from hiking in the mountains. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of you, Lord Samuel. That must have been an absolutely amazing hike. If you all go commit suicide fly, you go right ahead, but that's not me. A reminder of the Warriors building port. Yeah, so like I said, um, we'll hopefully know by the end of this stream. At worst, we'll know at the end, uh, we'll know by tomorrow night, and I'll post it in the Discord. Um, I missed the part about bathing with. Yeah, well, it. Things got weird earlier, okay? Things got weird. If you look on my Twitter, you will see a poll there. Um, it's also further up in the chat. I posted a link. Um, we'll take a look at that poll after this as well. Because reasons. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I'm going to lose uh, what's being said here. Uh, I just want to scroll up a little bit. Uh, cloak of the Fairy Man. This cloak will aid you as a cloak of protection plus three. Oh shit, that's good. As well as allow the Misty Stealth spell to be cast as a reaction where creeps you see move within 10 feet of you. This spell equal to your proficiency. Oh, holy crap. That is absolutely amazing. That is one hell of a magic item. Holy crap, Nipraska. You spoil your players. <laughs> that is brilliant. That's beautiful. They are meant to be rather powerful. Yeah, I can see that. Like, a Cloak of Protection plus 3 is already a hell of an item to have. I have a necklace that will always bless active on a target and deal damage if their foe is vulnerable to radiant damage. Also gives benefits depending on whether the wheel does align. Now that is always an interesting one. That could be like, you can have a lot of cool roleplay with stuff like that. 
Oh, oh bloody hell, they're the bane right. of everyone's existence, mosquitoes. Mind you, I say that, I very rarely get bitten. They tend not to like me for some reason. I must have bad B.O. or something. Um, but yeah, they're an absolute nightmare. Uh, currently writing up about a gauntlet that can transform into various magic items. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Also, why is my chat paused? There we go. I was north of the Polar Circle. Really? Whereabouts were you hiking, if you don't mind me asking? That sounds like an amazing area. You must have been pretty far north. My idea is that the boss in this realm is very strong. These items they can use in that boss fight but will dissipate. Ah, okay, I see. So they're sort of like temporary major. Honestly, that's a really cool idea, actually. That's brilliant. You have tunneled into oh, how many area. players do you have? I don't think I asked that last time. You got like four or five players? North of Sweden, the King's Trail. Your creatures uh, are Kungsleden? I'm sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. Kungsleden, I think. Oh man, that actually sounds like a beautiful place. I will just start going hiking area. and stuff like that again. I miss doing hikes and stuff with scouting. So, I, I think I might try and like do a, like a weekend hike um, next month or something just to get out if nothing else. I don't get out as much as I used to and I suffer for it. Five players, that's a good number to be fair. Like. Uh, four or five is the best to have. Four is like ideal, but four or five is good. I've done it for as few as three. Um, three is workable. Any less than... Well, I have DM for only two people, but that was meant to be for four. One person couldn't make it, fair enough. Your the other person dropped out like half an hour beforehand, which was a little sucky, but there we go. We wanted to play D&D, so we carried on anyway. Um, I think the most I've done it for is seven, but seven, when you start getting to like seven people, that's getting difficult. I, I wouldn't want to do that con a lot. Why are you, what? Guys, you've left the poor mistress all by your lonesome. Come on. Oh wow, you're literally turning your back on a lady. Or oh, lady in latex that's massive kistic as fuck, but you get the idea. Anyway, go kill the buggers. Uh, Northern Sweden, sorry. Pretty close, actually. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad I didn't completely butcher the pronunciation then. <laughs> Just partly butchered it. Once it's all written up, I have played it through. I might send it to you. Sweet! <laughs> then if you own play... Honestly, I'm amazed they haven't already. Sometimes, the things they do are like... Oh, man. Are like... One of them, the monk in particular, like... She's a great character, and her last who plays her is a really sweet lass, but a little bit clueless at times with what she'll just run into. So it's like there was a crystal on a tree, and they knew the that... The land approaches. I don't remember there being a Lord of the Land on this one. What? How long has there been a Lord of the Land? I don't remember this at all. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go kill the bugger then. Um, but yeah, like, things like the monk, um, there, there was a crystal and a tree at one point when they were going to a magical dungeon, and uh, the monk just grabbed this crystal, not knowing what it did, and so it, one of the guards woke up, grabbed her, teleported her, and locked her in a cell, and the party had to go rescue her. So the party go and rescue her, and anyway, they start cycling around the area, and they come back to this crystal and the tree, so what does the monk do again? She just walks up and grabs the crystal again, wondering what would happen. And it's like, you already know what's going to happen. You've already had it done once. And then she does it a second time, and she ends up back in the cells, and the party have to go rescue her again. It's like, what? <laughs> what made you decide that was a good idea? Looks like the frogs are winning. Oh my god. Look, I'm not actually bathing with them. We did that poll just because I was curious to see what everyone would vote on. That, it's not happening. <laughs> it is not happening. No matter how much you beg, that is not happening. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the six people is a rogue and he just charges in. Oh. Like, I can't say too much about Obnoxious. My own character, I, I DM one group, I play another group. And my own character, Lupin Coil, can be a bit of a handful at times. But he... he <laughs> Well, when you just charge in and get yourself in trouble, there's being mildly obnoxious and annoying, and then there's, dude, you've just been a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, man, I don't envy you having to deal with that. 
Uh, since Keeper FX uh, fixed it, wait, fixed what? Oh, wait, was there always meant to be a Lord of the Land? Really? You have claimed an enemy okay, room. you learn something new every day. I've been playing this game for who knows how many years at this point. I think he has a down rate of 75% in... Oh my, what? He goes down in 75% of encounters? What's the dude doing? Also, why is he charging in as a rogue out there? I can't believe I've only picked up on that. Only just picked up on that. He's a rogue. He should be flanking or doing like... Oh, I say should be. Obviously, it comes down to a character's personality. There's the role player aspect of it too. And that's one of the best bits. But still, as a rogue, why are you charging in? <laughs> you, you're flanked. You've got sneak attack and stuff like that. Make use of it. What the fuck we got? Cold tub stream then. <laughs> no... <laughs> It's not happening. I'm not streaming me in a bath or a hot tub. It's not happening. No matter how much you ask. I am happy to embarrass myself, okay? I mean, I've already showed off this fucking thing as well and said what's happening with that. Like, I am happy to embarrass myself, but there are some things that I just do not want to do. <laughs> oh, man. Right, on to the next load. Wait. Oh, I'm pretty sure there was a transfer creature. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there was. Oh, I should have transferred a miss. Never mind. Live and learn. Anyway, pause that as I try and catch up with chat. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. There is a Lord of Landis script, but... Ref ah, okay. So, it, that makes so much sense. You play D&D online or at a table? Um, so, uh, but, uh, but, uh, the group IDM we play online because we're all over the UK. Um, the group I'm a player with, we played at a table because, well, they're my housemates. We live together. Um, however, now we're all moved out and again, we're scattering over the UK. Um, so, we, both games are going to be online. Bit of a shit, like, don't get me wrong, playing online is still a lot of fun. But it's just not quite the same as playing at a table. And um, particularly as, um, so I can actually show you, um, I actually got, uh, um, I went on Hero Forge and paid for that group that I play with. I paid for us all to have Hero Forge figurines and we've been playing with them for the last few months. And now we can't really use them the same because, well, we'll be playing online. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do you use the original levels in speedrunning? Um, do, 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 in speedrunning, um, I have not kept up with that of late, so it's possible the others have made some changes to that. But um, I think Lubenix made a... Because um, we were using the levels as they were in the base game, because that's what they were in the base game, and in reality, that's what we're speedrunning. But the others may have changed that. I've not been the most active of late, so I can't really offer too much of an opinion on that one. Wouldn't really be fair. Uh, but uh, he's charging in because his teammates just can't reach this. And eventually he's just... Okay, so as in... So depending on what exactly is happening there, I might see his point. If the team are being really indecisive and never do anything... I disagree with what he's doing, but I understand what he's doing. But if it's just a case of they're trying to plan out and be smart about it and he just can't be asked, then he's still being a dick. <laughs> what out of interest, what are the um, other characters? Um, what have you got in there? Like I said, so my character that I play is a Tabaxi Ranger, um, which does get a lot of jokes about me being a furry. Um, <laughs> Quite a lot, particularly after I commissioned an artist to um, draw my D and D character. That <laughs> that really uh, got some interesting remarks. Um, but uh, yeah, so in the group that I DM, they have a Earth Ganassi monk, um, a dwarven gunslinger, a Envia, yeah, Envia um, artificer, and they have another Tabaxi ranger. Funnily enough. Um, and in the group I play with, we've got my Tabaxi Ranger. Um, and then we have a Brow Wizard. Um, what else? We have a Warforged Paladin. Uh, we have an Orc Barbarian. And then we have a um, Human F Barbarian Monk. Or is it Fighter Barbarian? Something like that. I can't remember. Oh, man. Right. Boop, 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 boop. Right, let's get a few more aims, because these dudes are slow. Uh, he's a tabaxi rogue. 
honestly, and again, this is going to bring up the whole fairy thing, but Tabaxi are by far my favourite race. They're so much fun. Just the, like, you can... It, they, you can, they can be slight, a little easily obnoxious, but they're also just the outgoing and the flash you can have with them. I, I just find them easy to play. Kenku Paladin. Oh, that's... Goliath Druid. Oh, yes. Circle of the Moon. So much fun. So, Tim, my younger brother who was in chat earlier, um, he's the clockwork... Um, he's the NVA Artificer, but beforehand he was playing a pixie... Um, Druid, and they were Druid or Moon, and bloody hell, like, they are really powerful. Like, particularly at, like, low levels, they end up with such a high, like, health pull because of um, being able to wild shape as a bonus action. It's crazy. Tiefling Sorcerer. Ooh, okay. Gnome Artificer. And Erganasi Ranger. Interesting. No rush for Temple. Um, that's a good point. Why are we not going for the Temple? Honestly, I'm just too busy trying to keep up with chat. At this point, Dungeon Keeper's kind of become... <laughs> I'm more focused on chat than I am on the game. Also, I have not looked at that poll yet, Lou Phoenix, but I have been told apparently the frogs are the most popular option. Why do you lot want me to bathe with... Out of everything in that list, I don't... Frogs are the ones I understand the least. Like, the otters I don't particularly understand, but it's like otters, water, eh, at least I can see some correlation there. Well, I suppose you could say the same for frogs, but... I don't know. Why? Why, guys? <laughs> oh, man. You guys do make me wonder, eh? Really make me wonder. Kenku Paladin is quite fun. The others call that the murder bird because of reese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, whenever someone's nickname involves the words the word murder you you, you know that they, they, they've uh, generally done something to deserve that nickname oh man she just sits in the corner watching creeping always a paladin who creeps oh my god this sounds like such a fun, <laughs> like an absolutely hilarious character also why did i build that there oh well i normally build it here but oh well all right let's uh get this going so we can start getting a few more uh, creatures in. There we go. Bo -bo 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 -bo. You could breed the frogs. Just fish up to a hundred tadpoles. <laughs> Why? That also, that's a lot of effort. I'm not breeding frogs. No. <laughs> because that's a lot of effort. I just cannot be asked. <laughs> if nothing else, I can't be asked to do that. The best bathing animals are missing. What happened to squid, sloth, porcupine and manatee? Wait. Why is, would a porcupine be a, a good animal to bathe with? What? Why porcupine? Where does that come from? The the squid and manatee, I can kind of understand being sea creatures. The sloth, I don't particularly understand either. In fact, the... Uh, <laughs> what, why do you guys want me to bathe with animals? This is weird. Oh, man. I'm mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> Sacrifice all the flies, of course, and you can have... You know what? That would have made a lot more sense, Lou Phoenix. But hey ho, you live and learn. I say you live and learn. I'm not learning because I made the same mistake every bloody time. But there we go. Uh, would you rather get two otters? I mean, I don't know what which of all of these I'd rather bathe with. The real answer would be none of them. But I don't suppose I'd be allowed to put the answer. So, <laughs> right, let's uh, start getting people in the training room, eh? Start again. You all in the training room. Uh, you know those otters will happily chase Jaguar away. Really? Otters chase Jaguar? I have a hard time believing that. Why would the Jaguar run away from an otter? Huh? You could shift and drag now to tag whole areas. What is in? What do you mean tag? Uh, am I being? Oh, um, yeah, I'm still, duh, I'm on an older version. I've not updated uh, to the latest alpha yet. Yeah, no, I, I'm being daft. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, Amazon otters, sure. They can eat anacondas for breakfast. These are some beefy otters. Bloody hell. 
Holy crap, I'm going to have to Google that later on because that's piqued my interest. An otter killing an anaconda, those things must be bloody brutal. Sounds like otter BS. <laughs> oh, really pushing the, uh, really pushing the boat out on that pun, aren't you there? <laughs> has been researched. Wait, giant otter? What? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, wait, wait, wait okay. So here's the no link's been put in chat. We, we, we've got a, we've got a... We gotta look at this, and we'll, while we're at it, we'll look at the polls as well. Um, right. So, the giant otter or giant river otter, longest member of the weasel family, globally select successful group of predators, 1.7 meters. Holy crap! Eight, three to eight members, dominant breeding pair, and extremely cohesive and cooperative. The species is territorial, and aggression has been observed between groups. Being active, uh, da, da, is the noisiest otter and distinct vocal. Wow, <clears throat> holy crap! <laughs> Die weasel. <laughs> oh my god! Hang on, let's see if we can uh, Google. Um, what do they look like? Let's go to images. Like, okay, I can get. I've got a general idea, but um, let's see. Uh, giant otter. See, they don't even look that deadly. But oh, actually, that's a. Uh, that, that actually looks pretty big. They look almost like seals. Damn. Who the funk it? Well, okay. Well, uh, close that. Uh, but uh, but uh, right, close that. So let's update this. Oh wow. Okay. So this is starting to get interesting. So it, <laughs> even if it wasn't the frogs, the eel is the next one. <laughs> Why, guys? Why? It's like you enjoy seeing me in pain. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know. Can you? I, I don't know. If you can, go ahead. <laughs> you're you're really focused on that idea, aren't you, be a vampire? You're, you're really focused that I'm into this stuff. <laughs> I'm really not. Like, this in particular, I'm really not okay with. I'm just laughing because I don't know what else to do about it. <laughs> Alright, on a more serious note, let's, um... Oh, let's look at, uh... Hang on. Let, let's look at the other poll. Uh, see how the other poll is doing. Do, 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 do. Right, uh, results, how are we doing here? Okay, so, so far it is looking like Saturday 31st of, uh, thir 31st of July, so that will be next Saturday afternoon. Um, it may still change, because Friday is only slightly behind, I mean, there's only a few votes in it, so... Do, 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 hang on, is that scrolling? Uh, okay, I think, uh, my chat is, uh... Do, 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 do. Oh no, no, no! Please don't, please don't die! Oh, 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 oh man! Streamlabs, Streamlabs froze for a moment. Oh man, I, I, I was about to, I was about to shit myself. Oh man. Oh, okay. So um, I think I've lost some stuff, but. Why not Mini Horse Air Tour is just a bit odd. Oh, yeah, and the rest of it isn't a little bit odd at this point. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I was in that situation. I genuinely wouldn't know what to do with myself. Oh, boy, how long have we been going? Okay, um, I think I will keep streaming for another 10, 15 minutes, guys. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I will be on... Back in a sec, I just need to answer a quick message. There we go. Okay, sweet. There we go. Oh, uh, Jeevious. Ah, thank you very much for following my man. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Um, even if this has been an incredibly weird stream, <laughs> but why not? We're here for a laugh, really, aren't we? We're just here for a laugh. Uh, play Dungeon Keeper in a bath with some animals there. Uh, fucking hell. That, that, mm, mm. 
not sure what I make of this. You gain followers based on the bath idea. I am not denying that. I probably could get a lot of followers and maybe even subscriptions and like make money off the bathing streams. I, I know that other streamers do that, but I am not interested, okay? I enjoy these kinds of streams. I'm happy to do dumb stuff. I will do dumb stuff. Feel free to make suggestions. But there are things I'm not doing and the hot tub stream is one of them. <laughs> Having loads of fun. I'm glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Okay, we got the bridge. Uh, I should probably expand this training room. I should really be paying more attention to the game. I've barely been watching what's been going on. Um, start gathering this gold as well. All the gold. All the gold. Uh, ba -da, ba -da. Let's uh, get a few more imps as well. Oh, I should have oh, I should have sacrificed him before doing that. Oh, well. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, you denying it just makes us want it more. Well, you can want it more all you want, but it's not happening, I'm afraid. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Making money off bathing streams. Yeah, there are streamers that do it. Because the thing is, it does make money. Like, I, I, well, I do know why, but it does make money. But as I've said before, I don't stream for the money. I stream because I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to you guys. Even with weird crap stuff like this, which I don't understand and can make me minorly uncomfortable, it's amusing. I've just loved ch playing games and chatting with you guys. Uh, would he get as many followers and subs if he will lose from doing a bathing stream with a sea otter? I, you know what, I, I think by the time I was in a bath with a sea otter, I don't think the video game I'm playing makes any difference anymore. I don't think people are coming for the video game. They're probably coming to see me in a bath with an otter. <laughs> see you later, Lupinex. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> with, you know what, I think I'd rather the otters. I know I said I wasn't going to pick, but I think I'd rather have the otters than the frogs. Could I make money by streaming a tub? What if I add the animals to a tub, but I'm not... I I mean, I don't know. Maybe, Will? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> well, you know what? Who knows on Twitch? Who knows? <laughs> it, 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 this is Twitch. Like, it, you can... <laughs> people have made money doing Stranger. Like, there are a lot of people who are in, in more Eastern countries make money from just, like, streaming them eating food. Like, literally, they just sit there and they eat food and they make money off that. They make a living off just streaming what they eat, um, which is a whole, like, really weird to me. But, yeah, there we go. Um, right, how... Uh, she really have paid more attention to what creatures I've been getting. Um, hmm. A new spell has been researched. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could go ahead and do it. I don't know how well it will work here in the West, but I know it's done in the East. You might be able to get something off it. I, I'm not sure it's a freaking career I would want, but each to the own. Um, and what rooms are that do we have now? Hmm. I have any... Oh, none of you guys have done anything. Okay. Um... Hmm. What, what do we get if we sacrifice spiders again? I can't remember. Spiders give us mistresses, don't they? If I remember rightly. Could be wrong, but I think so. Maybe just drinking is sufficient. <laughs> Jim, just start necking whiskey. That'll do it. In fact, don't do that. Um, because Twitch can be... Okay, I don't know. They keep changing it. I've not looked in ages. For a while, drinking alcohol on stream was banned. And then I think they've changed it to you can drink on stream. You just can't... Um, you can't do be doing gambling with it. So you can't say, oh, if someone spends 200 channel points, I'll neck a shot or something like that. Um, which does make sense, to be fair, because people are getting seriously ill. Um, but... I don't know. You'd like, if you look it up, you could probably find it. Sipping some tea, read a book stream. Like, you know what? That sound, actually sounds like a really chill stream. If you read it aloud, 
Although that is starting to sound a little bit like an ASMR stream, but still, that, that could actually be a really chill stream. Um, do you only stream DK or do you stream other stuff as well? I mainly just do DK. I do occasionally do some programming streams. Um, I did a stream at one point where, um, so me and a few friends do game jams where you have to make a game in a set period of time. So me and a few friends were actually, um, doing a stream where we showcased a lot of our old game jam games. Um, so I do occasionally do other things, but I mainly just do Dungeon Keeper. Um, I don't stream much else. Um, but I do, um, campaigns in Dungeon Keeper, I do some speed running, and then... Also, um, I've said before, if people have things they want me to try, I am open to suggestions. I like, I, I won't necessarily do everything, but I am open to suggestions. So if you all suggest something, I might give it a go. I know some herbal tea that is effective, so it's probably banned on Twitter. <laughs> you know what? This is Twitch, though. Like, this is the same com This is the same platform where if I accidentally show a nipple while taking a jump off, I can have my channel taken down. Yet they're completely open to people doing hot tub streams. Like, again, that's not me having anything against hot tub streams. It's, it's me trying to show just how stupid Twitch are with the guidelines. That it's so hard to figure out what's allowed and what isn't sometimes. Because Twitch is such a shitty platform. Uh, three spiders get a bow demon. A spider and a beat oh, gets a mistress. Okay, well, we'll take a bow demon. Still better than nothing. There we go. Uh, what levels are these? Because we can get a reaper as well. Oh, that's no, no. Bow demon. Okay, so that gets what? Like a level 5 um, reaper? Which isn't that high. Prison? Nah, we won't bother with a prison. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, what if you show nips on purpose? No, <laughs> like that, that will definitely get you in trouble. Uh, the phase with the whole nipple thing is in some... I, I agree with the nipple thing for one reason, but it's not for the reason you might think. So the reason that the nipple thing is there is basically to stop sexism. Because the whole thing in our society is that girls can't, or women, have to to have like their boobs covered at all times while men can have it off which if you think about it is one rule for one another rule for someone else just based on gender which is what sexism is so twitch banning it for everyone does keep it fair for everyone so in that sense i agree with it but <laughs> it is also an absolute pain it's like come on if someone accidentally shows a nipple while they're taking off a jumper you really have to delete their channel. They, it, for God's sake, it's a nipple. What do you expect? <laughs> like, it's not like... It's almost as if they think that no one has them and they're, like, horrified at the fact that some people do. Uh, Twitch, what exactly are you allowed to do? Twitch, you are not allowed to ask that question. Exactly. That. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch. <laughs> it's such a stupid, shitty platform. And the thing is, it really is shy. Actually, that thing I was about to say, we used to have a massive problem with adverts, didn't we? We don't seem to have the ad problem with adverts we used to have. And I've not been running the ad breaks either, so... Not that I'm complaining. Like, I'm glad that we're not having the issues with the adverts we once were, because frankly, it was an absolute piss take. Um, we never had it as bad as Pepsi did, but fuck... It was still an absolute nightmare. I'm glad that's not as bad anymore. Women don't need to cover them either. Well, yeah, like, that. that's the thing. Uh, like I said, the only reason I agree with it is the fact that it's keeping it fair for everyone. That, I can get behind. Now, that doesn't mean that I agree with the way, the methodology, but I at least agree with what they're trying to do, making it fair for everyone. But at the end of the day, just because you agree with the reasoning behind something doesn't mean that you agree with the actual, like, thing itself. In fact, no, we're not dealing with that right now because I'm going to be ending the stream in about 5-10 minutes. But, so we'll leave that until next time. But yeah, Twitch is such a, it's such a stupid platform. The, the problem being is that if you want to get found, like, getting found on Twitch is almost impossible. For small streamers, it's so difficult to get anywhere. The main reason that I've got, I mean, the main reason that I've even got, like, you guys watching is because, um, Dungeon Keeper is a fairly niche game. It's got a fairly niche community. 
and so it doesn't get many people streaming it. So that means that people like me who do stream it get the followers for Dungeon Keeper more easily, which is really good in that sense, and it helps us grow. But <clears throat> like outside that, I like I'm just another average Joe on Twitch. I've got nothing special going for me. So like. If it wasn't for like this niche community, I would even after a year of streaming, I would almost certainly be, still be sound like one or two viewers, and no one would like. And there's loads of streamers that do because it is difficult to get that far. <clears throat> I agree with the implementation of the rule, not the rule itself. Yeah, like that kind of thing. I, I can get like that's what I mean. I can get with why they're doing it, just not the way they're doing it. So. And, and to be fair, like, that's probably as far as it goes with Twitch, like, it, it, I, I've mourned, I've been very rude about Twitch in the past and some of the things they have done. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, again, going back to the adverts, the rant I had about the issues with that really drove me up the bloody wall. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's save the game and uh, we'll take a look at the polls before I uh, end the stream, shall we? I know it's been a bit of a shorter stream, but I do have other things I've got to sort out. Like, I've got to finish packing that and I do still have work tomorrow. So, but on the upside, the PC's been working. We're not having issues. <clears throat> so, fingers crossed. Once I moved out, getting to my new apartment, we might actually have stable streams. And I've been saying that for absolutely fucking months. <laughs> and it never happens, but we can hope. So looking at this one first, if I was to do the stream, and to clarify, I'm not doing it, it looks like it would be the bloody frogs. So I'm so glad it's not happening. <laughs> Why? You guys made me wonder, where the fuck would I even get 75 frogs from that? Oh man, I can be a pretty resourceful guy, but um, oh man, that, that would be an interesting one. Okay, now on to a more like, appropriate one. And um, so, what is the Warlock stream? So for those of you <clears throat> who don't know, um, what is his, he's kind of like our mascot at this point, and um, we took one of the warlocks in Dungeon Keep on our wing. He was called Warriors and he we've actually even got emotes for him in the chat and stuff like that. Um and we often have real laughs about him. And so we've actually spoke about making him as a D and D character in fifth edition D and D. So um this was to organise a stream where we will actually build him as a D and D character <clears throat> on stream. Um I will we'll then build him in Hero Forge I will may order two models of him on Hero Forge, one for myself, but the other model, I will do a raffle um, that you guys can enter and one person can will win the other model and I'll post it over to them. Um, the character sheet and that I will probably make public to everyone. Um, so if you want to play it, normally D&D characters are more personal you keep them for yourselves because like you've put the effort in but this is something that we'll be doing a bit as a community like the backstory figuring out like what a patron he's got and stuff like that so as such i think it's only fair to kind of make him open to the community let everyone have a um copy of the character sheet um i would love to say everyone gets a model but i i can't afford that so <laughs> i'm afraid just one person will get the model itself but, um, yeah, everyone will get access to a character sheet. And it looks like it will be Saturday afternoon. So that will be next Saturday. Not this weekend because I'm moving out on Saturday. And then Sunday I'm going go-karting and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so it will be next weekend. And it does look like it will be Saturday afternoon. So I will put up um, a message to confirm that in my Discord. Um, but, yeah. Uh, if it's Saturday afternoon, we'll probably look at starting around 1 p.m. Um, 1 or 2 p.m. I will confirm time in the Discord. It depends on what I'm doing at the time. Um, it also depends because I move into my new apartment this Saturday. Um, however, my internet won't be on for the first few days. <clears throat> so hopefully my internet should be sorted by then. If not, uh, but... We'll see. It should be good by then. It just means there might not be another stream until then. 
Either way, I'll keep you all updated in the Discord. Thank you so much for joining, guys. It has been an absolutely hilarious stream, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, so I will guess nothing is left to say, but I will see you all next time. Take care, folks. I've forgotten what hockey it is. Which is my hockey? Is it that one? I think... No, it's not that... Oh, wait. Fuck, fuck the hotkeys. We'll do it manually. <laughs>